First thing you have to do is to pair the device with the computer. And how do you do it? It's really simple. You go to this little shoe in a circle right here in the corner. You click on it and it says not connected. Click and it opens this tab in the browser. It says connect. It will show you in a second. There it is. I say pair and it's paired. And as you can see, the blue light has just turned steady. It's not blinking anymore. Now you can leave this tab right here or you can minimize it, but you have to leave it open. If you close it, you don't have access from the foot controller anymore. But it's not annoying at all. You just leave it there as a tab in your browser. We go back to YouTube. So what you do is uh, we're going to just uh, power it up whilst holding this button here and it'll start flushing blue there. And that tells us it's uh, ready to go. And then we are here on my Mac. The app uh, is, I've already installed it into the Chrome browser. And I'm just going to go down here and see if it's connected. It says it's not connected. We click connect, really easy. It wants to pair, we pair it. We leave this page open. And then we're on any site that's compatible like YouTube and stuff like that. Uh, the, the player just sort of uh, appears in this bottom corner here. So you can just see it down here in the bottom right hand corner. And right now, if I uh, wanna press play, I just uh, do that and press the middle button. And then say if I wanna fast forward to, uh, to a bit of the solo, just fast forward it with this button. Uh, but I'm gonna, just gonna rewind it now uh, a little bit and I'm gonna loop this crazy solo. All right, that bit there. And I press the looper again. And that's just looping now. And again, the way it works is you download the Airstep Play app, which I have loaded up here, and it just looks like a YouTube app to start with. So if I just come out of here, we've got the Airstep Play app here. Download it for free from the App Store. Again, whether that's Google or whether that's you know, the Android Play Store or whether that's the iOS Store. Obviously, I'm on an iPad Pro here. And then it loads into YouTube and you can sign in or not if you don't want to. Um, I've signed in, so I get all of my video recommendations, so on and so forth. But yeah, you sign in and then basically it just works as a YouTube browser. And the idea is that you connect the Airstep Play via Bluetooth and there's a really easy way to do that, which I'll show you in a second. And that enables you to control all the videos from your feet basically. And there's a lot of functionality in there as well. More than I've seen with quite a few other devices that do sort of similar things to this, which is cool. And the form factor is very nice as well. It's not heavy at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn it on. And again, if I just show it to this camera here, if I just point here so it's in focus, there's the on switch, turn it on, and you will see on the iPad, it's gonna tell me it's connected. So if I turn it on here, it's gonna to say to me, um, there we go, just flashed up really, really quickly saying it connected. Now, if this is the first time you've connected this device, what you would do is, in this app here, which again, just looks like a YouTube browser, you'll see this little icon here, which kind of looks like an infinity icon. It's the Airstep Play app icon, tap on it, and this will take you to the main functionality screen of this app. This is what's unique about this app as compared to just obviously using YouTube. 